all need a bit of romance sometimes, even porcupines, which is how this little porcupet came to be. I keep thinking of that old joke, you know, how do porcupines make love? Sure. Very carefully. <laughs> indeed. Very carefully indeed. The male actually sometimes shows up with quills in him the next morning. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Kenton Kern's a curator at the Small Mammal House at the Smithsonian's National Zoo, says this little guy, who hasn't been named yet, was no accident. When Mom Beatrix needed a mate, potential dad Quilber was shipped in from another zoo. Quilber was brought here just for the express purpose of hooking up with Beatrice, is that correct? <laughs> exactly, exactly. So he had a good genetic match with Beatrix, and so he met with Beatrix, we did introductions, went very well. So did the intro of these two-toed sloths, Vlad and Athena. I noticed when they were moving around here, she seemed to be the one going after him rather than vice versa. Is that typical animal behavior? I think it probably depends on the sloth and the pairing. In this coupling, yes, Athena always seeks out Vlad, and we've seen attempts to breed. I noticed that they seem to kiss each other. Is that possible? There was like a little kiss there. There was, a, we call it a kiss. We don't really know what's going on. We see them do that tongue interaction. We don't know if it's a greeting, if it's affectionate, or it's something completely different. The zoo is hoping this pair will produce a healthy baby sloth. In fact, Athena was transferred here from a zoo in Texas for just that reason. There's a whole equation behind who's the best match for who, and we sort of match them up like a, a, an app for dating animals. That's right, a dating app for animals, like these endangered African penguins hatching eggs at the Mystic Aquarium in Connecticut. In order to reduce inbreeding, zoos and aquariums all over North America have amassed years of detailed records about animal offspring. We know that this particular pair is uh, genetically valuable. And so that data is fed into special and... software developed by Chicago's Lincoln Park Zoo and used to create species survival plans to show which animals can safely mate. So the better we do at these breeding recommendations and the more gene diversity we retain, the longer these species will be around in our zoos and aquariums. Mystic Aquarium's Gail Serpensky is coordinator of the African Penguin Survival Plan. She showed us how penguins are paired up. If we come down to this guy right here, he's a 25-year-old male. He is recommended to breed with this female, 2937. Of course, as with any dating app, it's not just what the algorithm says. Do you think there's such a thing as animal magnetism? Like that the animals have to get attracted to each other? I do think so, and especially with this species because they're more so of a romantic species. And assistant penguin supervisor Josh Davis says, just like humans, new penguin couples need some alone time. Now, you know, does it work better if we put on some Barry White and leave the room? Maybe. Um, but it's all <laughs> about very white, I love it. <laughs> it's all about giving them that alone time. Do you ever have situations where you put two penguins together and they just don't take? Yeah, I've heard of facilities that have had that. Um, sometimes it just takes a little bit longer, but part of setting them up for success is knowing how old those penguins are. Are they at that, that point in their lives where they're going to be looking for a mate? And that brings us back to the National Zoo and this family of tiny monkeys known as golden-headed lion tamarins, complete with a new set of twins. Curator Kenton Kern says it all came about because the zoo used the dating app to find Lola, a mate for its shy, withdrawn male, Coco. Once Lola came into the picture, he was a completely different monkey because she would go first and explore and he would start to follow. And now he's all over the exhibit just like she is. He's still a little nervous, but nothing like how he was when he was alone. So he found his valentine. Absolutely. <laughs>